Hello and welcome to Nancy News. News at 9. See you there. I'm Matt. And I'm Nancy. <clears throat> Breaking news in the Sickles trial. Union General Daniel Sickles looks to have been found not guilty of the murder of Philip Barton Key. Sickles used the defense of temporary insanity in his trap. Philip Barton Key, son of Francis Scott Key, was said to have been having an affair with Sickles' wife at the time of the murder. And in honor of the son of Francis Scott Key, we have composed our own version of the Star Spangled Banner. Oh say can you see, General Sickle is crazy. What so proudly we hailed, he was not jailed. And the blood's red glare, his brain bursting in air. Lawyers proved through the night that his insanity was still there. Another sad event this week. General Stonewall Jackson has been shot by his own men at the Battle of Chancellorville. I'm sorry. Jackson's men asked him to identify himself, but fired before he had the chance to respond. Jackson has been transported to receive medical attention and remains in a critical condition. And now we're going to cut to a commercial break. Don't move a muscle. Nancy Eat News is brought to you by Natural Bald Remover Cream. Are you bald and unhappy? Were you a ladies man back in the days when you had hair? Do you feel like you're laughed at when you go out in public? Are you too ashamed to attend high school reunions because of your baldness? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then we have the solution for you. I just felt so alone in this world when I was bald. No one talked to me. It was hard. When I was bald, my life was a mess. I had a dead-end job at McDonald's. I never showed up to work and I got fired. I didn't know what to do with myself. But then, I found out about the natural bald remover. When I finally discovered this hair product, I was like, why did I not discover this sooner, you know? It changed my life completely, and I think everybody should know about this product. Side effects include dizziness, fatigue, subacute endocarditis, aortic aneurysms, appendicitis, and bronchitis. Call 1-800-GROW-HAIR today. news. Uh, we have a very interesting uh, story for you all today. After a long battle in the Mississippi, troops have finally finished fighting, only to notice that their wounds are giving off a faint glow when the lights were off. This baffling condition has been nicknamed Angel's Glow by the medics. It is said that people with Angel's Glow have better chances of surviving. Scientists have yet to find the cause of the mysterious glow, but researchers are looking into it. Speaking of violence in this country, that brings us to our next story. Tensions are growing in the South as protesters continue to blame the food shortage on the Confederate government. In Richmond, Virginia, a mob of hungry women got together to attack Governor John Letcher and President Jefferson Davis. In a desperate attempt to subdue the mob, Davis threw money out the windows to them. Oh, oh, money on my mind, money, money. But due to the inflation in the South, the protesters didn't want money. Finally, Davis threatened to call the militia and the mob, and the mob dispersed without any police involvement. Now to our field agent, Emily, as she interviews one of the angry women that took part in the mob. Uh, thanks, Matt. So today I'm here in the field with one of the women who took part in the angry mob against Jefferson Davis. And your name is Penelope. Yes, he threw, as you can see, 
lucky by this black guy right here. He threw coins at us and one of those coins hit me directly in the eye. So you can see that he was just as aggressive as we were. So it wasn't entirely our fault. Okay, um, now I know that he threw money, so did you collect any of the money? Absolutely not. Why do I need it? It's probably fake, anyways. Okay. And why do I need it? Because, I'm sorry, I just getting a little emotional. Because I need food, not money. Can you eat money? No. No, you can't. No. no. I'm sorry. Just... Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just my children. As so, you yeah. see, this is really affecting um, everybody in the South. Racism in the North. African American soldiers were successful in their 18th month protest regarding their military salaries. Congress had just agreed to allow African American Union soldiers to receive the same pay as white Union soldiers. <coughs> African American regiments refused to accept their inferior wages, which were, were about half the wages of white Union soldiers. For many African American Union soldiers, this means that African Americans will finally have money to send home to their family. Speaking of money, both the Confederate and Union are outraged to find out that the American Banknote Company has been printing money for both of them. Since the company is stationed in New York, the, the Union has prohibited the company from continuing to do this, but this only furthered the South's anger. To compromise with both sides, the American Banknote Company moved a portion of the company to New Orleans and called it the Southern Banknote Company. This is where the company now continues to print money for the Confederacy, while the original company in New York prints greenbacks for the Union. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Nancy News is brought to you by Colored Glasses to treat syphilis, depression, and insanity. Are you depressed? Is syphilis ruining your love life? Perhaps insanity keeps you from being a part of society. Don't worry, we have the solution for you. Try our pink glasses to cure depression. Or our yellow glasses to cure syphilis. Or our blue glasses to cure insanity. Call 1-800-CURE today to order your own glasses for only 5 easy payments of 1861. Must be 18 or older to call. Well, thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Nancy Sorokina. I'm Matthew Boucher. Join us next week as we discuss what really happened at the Battle of Gettysburg. <laughs>